Hi, in this video, I'm going to tell you about how to set up server view monitoring in .com monitor. I hope you have read my article in my blog qinsights.com about .com monitor. So before you begin, you need to create a, an account with .com monitor. Uh, so typically you get 30 day free trial and there are various services being offered by .com monitor server view browser view user view metrics view and load view stress testing so before you begin monitoring your website performance you should draft your requirements and objectives so that appropriate monitoring device you can select and start monitoring it so for the free trial you will get around 30 days for server view browser view user view and metrics view and for load views test testing you will get around 5000 tasks for free so before you begin make sure that you have configured all the groups templates schedules and other details and there are two different types of mode where you could add a device so a device is nothing but a test scenario like setup uh, so there is a legacy mode and wizard mode so i'm going to select wizard mode because it is pretty uh, simple and uh, it will give you the clean UI so that any tester can create a device and start monitoring it. So here you could see there are five widgets. So if you hover your mouse, you could see in the left side, there is a, it will highlight what the particular service being offered. So what is the purpose of the service? Example, if you want to monitor a simple HTTPS website uh, and you want to monitor its availability you could always go for server view and there are various protocols available in server view and next is browser view where you would like to test your single page application using various browsers Chrome, Firefox, IE and mobile browser so there are a lot of browsers to be added for example Edge, Safari is not available right now and if you want to monitor a real browser script like how your end user feels you could always go for user view but for user view you should download the tool called every step and you have to start scripting the scenario and to monitor your server metrics like windows performance counters linux or snap you should go for metrics view service and if you want to test your website using various workload model you should select load view so in this example i'm going to use example.com to monitor its availability so i'm going to select server view service and server view i'm going to select https and click on continue in the next four steps you should enter details about your website so in this case our website is example.com so i'm going to select https and enter the website name and here you could see there are various options available like content validation basic authentication headers so we can customize the headers as well and the parameters dns options etc so once you have configured the details here click on continue to create a device so in this case i'm going to name my device as example.com test and here you could see the frequency is four hours which is default and you will get around a free 30 day trial four hours duration and i have used only one task till today so you can use up to 100 tasks and here you could see there are various locations available and by default everything is checked and this is the advanced configuration section so once you have configured everything about your device click on continue so here you could mention how you are how you want to get a notification about the results or alerts and click on continue so here dot com monitor offers various types of report text file csv and pdfs so based on your requirement you can just check that option and you can set the to whom you want to send the report so once everything is done click on continue and before you begin monitoring just make sure you will review this 
and here you could see in the left side it displays about the uh, device summary and if you want anything extra like a summer alerts or phone alerts you can see the pricing as well and also here you could see what task available what packages you want to add everything you can you can see and you can upgrade accordingly and if you want to edit anything you can go back to edit configuration and if you want to start the monitoring you can click on begin monitoring or we want to start later you can just click on save for later and you can start anytime so in this case i'm going to click on begin monitoring so every four hours example.com server availability will be checked by the dot com monitor and you can see the results so yesterday i have created a simple google test and to view the results you can just select the action and click on report and specify the duration and hit submit so here you could see all the reports generated for the server view monitoring for the device i have created yesterday and all the reports available uh, in the report history so if you want to uh, share anything you can just select accordingly and share it with in a unique url and download section has three uh, software every step scripting tool private agent and metrics view agent so private agent uh, requires special attention where uh, you need to contact the sales team to enable the private agent before you uh, set up configure the uh, agents and in the support uh, there are lots of documentation available um, and also you can contact the uh, support by submitting a ticket and also live chat is available and you can follow their blog for more details and in the account section uh, you can configure your building con uh, and you can uh, update your credit card and you can add the uh, users how many users you want to grant access and uh, wallet where you can see the credits available and credit history so this is pretty much about dot com monitor so for more details please visit dot com monitor dot com hyphen monitor dot com and please let me know if you have uh, any questions or comments in the comment section so thanks for watching have a great day